I in one of our videos, yes. you said that you don't know what someone else would believe in if not Islam. You said it is the last religion. Yes, I want you to course. encourage that and tell me why. Uh, because it's the last religion, really. by theory. It's the last religion by ideology. It's the last religion. And by prophecies, Prophet Muhammad, may he continue resting in peace. He was the last prophet. So it's not a thing that people are just saying, like Islam. It's, it's the last. It's just the last religion. What, what other religion came after Islam? Nothing. It was the last religion. You see? So, yes, it came to, to bring order. Because other religions, they were losing it. Mm. So Islam is the last religion to preserve the morality and to preserve God's principles, bro. Okay. It has to be the last one. There's okay. no other religion, bro. Speaking on that, some people find Islam to be too strict. Do you think those people are just looking for freedom? What do you think? You have heard that criticism, right? Yeah. That Islam is too strict. Yes. Most people say it's too strict. Is it know? too strict? It's strict, bro, because it's a set of principles. And what's a religion without boundaries and principles? So Islam has boundaries. There's yes and no. There's no middle ground. There's no debating a yes or a no. There's a yes and a no. There's a right and wrong. There's no gray area. You see? Yes. So people, it's, most, it's usually people who, who claim they're spiritual, you know, they're not religious. They want, they, they don't want to submit to a higher power. They want to be selfish and submit to, their, to themselves, like, oh, I'm spiritual. I meditate, hey, my inner self, my inner child. It's all about them. They don't want to submit to something higher than them, you see. 